Hello, this is Naruki. I'm master of Naruki Art Dojo, and、uh, this is Owen. Hi. So, in the last video, I talked about how to draw a figure using boxes. Today, I'd like to focus on the head box. I will talk about how to draw、uh, Owen's head using a box, so his model today. So, I use a 2B pencil, and a 4B pencil, and a white pencil this time. Yeah, so let's start. So, first part is pretty the same as the last video. Right, it's the same process, yeah. right? Yeah. Find the horizontal line that connect the eyes. Then find the vertical line to connect the middle of eyes and nose and the lips.、Mm -hmm. Then you decide where the chin is. Eyes are on the center of the head box. The top of the head is the same distance from the chin to the eyes.、Mm -hmm. The edge of the front panel is the top of your cheekbone.、Oh, yeah. The edge is parallel to the center line of the face. So, this is the front box. Front of the box.、Mm -hmm. Now, I find the side panel of the head box. This part of the ear is the same height as the eye line. It's the center of the head box. Connect your eye line with the ear line at the edge of the front panel. Now you see the perspective of the head box. The vertical ear line comes from the middle of the side panel. The back of the side panel is the same distance from the ear to the edge of the face.、Right. So this is the boxes. Find the blue line. It's about the same height as the top of the ear. It's just a little higher than the eye line. Right, your brow line. It's this muscle or bone that runs right here. Yeah. Then、uh, halfway between the brow, brow line and the chin is the bottom of the nose and the bottom of the ear. Right, on two different panels. So one's in the front, one's on the side. Yeah. Uh, one third between the bottom of the nose and the chin is the mouth. There is a mouth. Now you can find the shape of the top of the skull. It starts from behind the bottom of the ear. The curb of the skull follows the shape of the box you already made. So it's like putting a ball into a box. Yes. Right, it's cheek. Right,、yeah. so do you, what are you drawing in here? The bottom of the skull? Yeah, without jaw. Without the jaw. Yeah, now I'm finding the jaw line, which、right. starts from the bottom of the ear at the center of the side panel and、uh, connect to your chin on the front panel. Right, so it's moving from、yeah. the side panel to the front panel. Yeah. Have a nice jaw. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's the thing, it depends on the model. You have to look at what your model's face shape is like. Yeah. And here I find the hairline. It's the same length as between eyebrow to bottom of the nose and、uh, between bottom of the nose to the chin.、Mm -hmm. It's the same length as the ear. Right, so it's about、yeah. a third. One, three, yep. Yeah, I'm giving shadow on there and、uh, strokes are following the box shape, like a box perspective. So the little lines you're making with your pencil are all going in this direction of the perspective. Yeah. And,、uh, Finding eye sockets now.、Mm -hmm. And the eyeballs are in the eye sockets. And、uh, remember, the eyeballs are 3D shape. So the perspective of the eyeballs follows the perspective of the head box we found in the beginning. 
Right. So they come out of your skull. So they're not just flat, you know. They have yeah. the ball. Eyeballs in eye sockets. Then I find a large ball at the tip of the nose and the two smaller half balls at the side of the nose. Right, your nostrils. And I find the front panel of the bridge of the nose and the two side panel on the side of the nose. Right, so there's a front part and two side parts and they're yeah. on different planes so they have different shadows. Yeah. Then I find a smile line. It's almost a big ball. Right. Yeah, the center of the ball is a part of the lips. Right, it's like a muzzle right here. And uh, also there is a half ball below the lip. This is a chin. Right. So one big ball and uh, one smaller half ball mm -hmm. below the lips. Some people have a big, big yeah. ball chin. Some people have a little tiny chin. Mine's smaller. Yeah. <laughs> so in this process, I want you to see that all my strokes are following the big box perspective mm. we found at the beginning. I start to draw from the biggest shapes and uh, walk to the smaller shapes, step by step. Mm -hmm. All the shapes are following the same perspective of the biggest box. Mm -hmm. This is why I recommend to you to start drawing from a box, not from a ball. Is it hard to see the perspective if you start from a ball? Yeah, you know, we ball, ball has no edges, right. so I don't know how to find the perspective from ball. Right. So I recommend to start from box. It's easier to find a perspective. Right. Yeah, the big box helps to find perspective of smaller shapes on the head. All the little stuff. Yeah. And also, because your face is uh, symmetrical, mm -hmm. so making horizontal line to connect your eye, the edge of your lips, or whatever uh, helps to find perspective of the head. Right. So if you connect whatever symmetrical things on the head. Right, you can already find a line yeah. compared to your background or whatever else you have. So it all helps you to find the perspective right. of the head. So everything's right. So I will talk about how to draw more detail of each part on the face in another video in the future. Mm -hmm. It would be more about anatomy. Mm -hmm. Today I just talked about only proportion of the head. These numbers are just standard guide. Find each shape from your model and arrange the size accordingly. Mm -hmm. Right, you have to look at your model, like yeah, because people's faces are different. This is still just a guide for laying things out. And in the future, you won't need to make all the little tiny boxes if you can just see it. Yeah, I can't tell everything on here, so I will talk about each details later in another video. Mm. This video, I focus on more proportion mm. of each uh, parts. So there's an infinite information to find shapes. And uh, I just talked about which information I pick up and use to find the shapes in the figure. Right, so if you look at something, you're collecting tons and tons of information about light yeah. and shapes and colors, and you're selecting about what you need to make that on your drawing. Yeah, to find the shape. To find the shape. Yeah. Each artist has a different method to find shapes. Drawing a figure using box is a 
pretty academic and common concept.、Mm. My unique method was extracted from other great artists and my experiences.、Uh, you can learn my method from this video and、uh, you can arrange it to make it your own method in the future. Right. Yeah. Because if you、uh, have lots of teachers, you take what you need from them. Yeah. Or if you take a class or if you. Meet someone like Naruki and he teaches you, you make your own method. Yeah, also, there are a ton of the video to talk about that on YouTube. Right. And、uh, which information you pick up、uh, or up to you. Right, it's up to you. But I believe mine is the most organized, in <laughs> honest. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, if you find a better way than mine, Please tell me, like, please teach it to me. Right, teach us. Yeah. We want to be better.、Uh, we can update. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you for watching.、Uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe.、Uh, see you next time. Bye bye. Bye.